So that that, that first line, if you if you read it, everything they say about me is true. So he literally plays that shit in reverse. Euphoria. <laughs> like bruh. Them superpowers get neutralized I can only watch in silence The famous actor we once knew Is looking paranoid and now spiraling You're moving just like a degenerate Heavy antique is feeling distasteful I calculate you, not as calculated I can even predict your angles Fabrication mm. is on the family front Cause you heard Mr. Morale <laughs> <Burrell. laughs> You can give, give it to you a big old right there I can smell the tales on you now You're not a rap artist, you're a scam Yeah, so I remember about this Tommy Yeah. So this is just a response to the assertion made by Drake on April 2024 push-ups. Many believe that Drake was suggesting Kendrick's wife, Rainey Alford, was unfaithful to him. Abuse and bodyguards. Oh. Fuck it, we'll do resurgence. Abuse and bodyguards like Whitney, Kendrick, implied that Drake drew these types of conclusions after listening to his fifth studio album, May 2022, Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers on which addressing many issues within his personal life, including infidelity. That's fuck. Yeah. They've always poked back and forth for recent. Like when they first started, they, they didn't quite, but... Yeah, well they have two. They worked a few times together, but they always, like... They didn't. Tell truth about you. They didn't work deeply with each other a lot. They weren't best friends or anything. They just worked cordially. Like that's the best way I heard it explained. To be completely fair, so they just worked cordially. They were business partners, you know. And that was about it. And Drake f fucking felt like he was trying, you know, like they were building a friendship, like a real bond. Kendrick just felt like it was business. Mm -hmm. God. What is it, the brakes? I hurt your feelings, you don't work with me no more. Okay, there's three goes left and I said...